whenever uh, whenever you make tech project kind of videos you're bound to have some talking to do some explanation so strap on your seatbelts because here we go First of all, hi, I hope you're doing great. I hope you will have an awesome day and welcome to another project. I was browsing Thingiverse as I normally do and stumbled across this incredible airplane that is just nine pieces, nine. And if you are wondering why I am holding it like this, it's because I am gluing the pieces together. Still like 50, maybe even 60 hours of printing right here, which is crazy. I mean, it is a fairly good sized plane and I even blew it up 20% because the bed of the CR-10 allowed that increase. Down below in the description, I will give you a list to Hobby King. I've, I've been buying stuff from their site for years. That list will contain everything you need to build and fly this radio controlled airplane. So motor, transmitter, battery, 20 minutes later, speed controller, servos, three days later, charger, receiver. Wow, you need a lot of stuff. I am so losing hope for this. It's so heavy. The body is printed with two perimeters and feels very solid. The wings are only printed with one perimeter and this wing feels like it's about to break. The layer adhesion is so bad at 195 degrees, which this wing was printed with. This wing, however, was printed at 210 degrees Celsius and feels a lot better. So, so if you want to print this, my biggest tip is bump the temp way up. I think uh, 215 degrees Celsius will give you a lot better results and a lot stronger wings. Yeah, I will be using the same electronics as from the uh, plane I made from uh, recycled PLA. Yeah, not my best work. Oh no, it's 820 grams. Is that too much? Yeah, I'm gonna go with too much. I think we will have to wing it. Wing it. Several bad puns later. All right, let's try this out. It is a bit more wind this fine Monday morning, but I don't think that's gonna be too big of a problem. As you can see from yesterday's crash, the plane was terribly tail heavy, so I cut the nose off and pushed the battery way forward. So now the center of gravity is basically on those uh, bumps you can see on the bottom. And I will give it a 60% chance of actually flying, 30% chance of uh, crashing upon launch and a 10% chance of total destruction. All right, fingers crossed.
It feels like I'm about to crash at any time. Holy, that was the most stressful two minutes I've ever had. That looks like total destruction. I really hope I got some onboard footage from the camera that was strapped on the plane. For whatever reason, it was uh, turned off. Don't take me wrong, I'm not blaming the plane that it flew very poorly and crashed. It, it was most likely my fault, but I do think the project was successful in the sense that you can 3D print a plane and it will fly. That's very cool. However, I do not recommend a 3D printed plane if you want to get into radio controlled airplanes. You should build it out of something like foam. And there is a great place if you are interested in getting into all of this. It's a YouTube channel called Flight Test. They are very dedicated to get more people into model flying and I think they do a great job. I have been following them since their very first video, so I should know. I really, I really do hope you found today's video interesting to watch. I encourage you to do something like this. It's a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Have a nice day. Bye.